everybody. I just wanted to briefly mention power and work for rotation. So recall that work, let's say you have some block and then you apply a force here and then the block moves this way, some displacement delta s, some displacement. So the work is that force dot that displacement. Right, so when you take the dot product, it's a scalar, so that's why the work is a scalar in joules. Now imagine this time you don't go in a straight line, you go more like in a curve. So the displacement is along this arc length, and imagine for now it's a circle. So this is some delta theta, and this is some radius r. So then we remember the relationship between arc length and angle was something like this, right? And then you take a derivative, then velocity is r omega, take one more derivative. Because this is tangent to the path, velocity is always tangent because it's a derivative. So this is the tangential component of acceleration, the time derivative of angular velocity, angular acceleration. The, uh, the normal component is centripetal. And then you know that centripetal acceleration is V squared over R. Substitute that there. Then you have omega squared R. So this one, right, is how we relate this to this. So delta S becomes R delta theta. Okay, and then let's just take a look at this. So this should be a longer proof uh, where we're more careful, where this is actually, we're integrating F ds like this. But just to get this through quickly, and then we'll go in greater detail in a future semester. So if these are perpendicular, this becomes torque. So what looks like, I'll just write it like this. What looks like this in a straight line looks like, oh, I erased a little bit too much, right? It was F R delta theta, right? These, if they're perpendicular, that's torque. Okay, so, so if you're pushing something in a straight line, work kind of looks like this. If you, let's say, there's a cylinder and you turn it with some torque, the work is that torque you, you applied and the angular displacement. Okay, and then power is just the time derivative. Right, so power is the time derivative of work. So power, power, is just the time derivative. So recall, if you take the time derivative of this, if you apply a constant force, then it'll look like ds dt, which is velocity, right? So it looks like v, force, that's force. It's velocity, linear velocity. And then similarly, if you take a time derivative of this, let's say for constant torque, then this turns into d theta dt, which is angular velocity. Okay, torque. And that's angular velocity. Okay, so just more things to remember, right? So work like this, power like this for rotation. Okay, see you in the next video.